What's going on guys? Back again with another episode of Inside the Cut and today I'm going to be running you guys through my first ever brand collab with one of my favorite brands called Cuts. How this came about though is that I got an email one day actually at my computer um, from the Cuts team seeing if I was interested in creating some content. I guess they'd found me on Instagram. I'm not 100% sure actually how that came about but they said what would you would you be willing to do some content for us if we sent you a free shirt? So I was like hey I actually love what you guys are doing. I have so much of your stuff like totally totally down to do this and and um, for me, since I have never really worked with a brand before, it was just super cool to get that nod that what I was doing was, you could say, you know, good enough or interesting enough for a brand like that to reach out. So I'm going to show you guys um, how this came to life and uh, let's jump right in. So the edit itself um, is only actually just a few clips. I shot this with one of my uh, buddies here in Raleigh called, uh, called <laughs> named Linus. You can check him out, Linus and his camera on IG. The guy's incredible, probably one of the most talented videographers, camera guys, what, what you name it, he can do it, he kills it. We actually only had nine clips to make the whole video, just from some places around Raleigh, so some of these raw clips just um, around the Natural Science Center downtown on uh, Boylan Bridge with this great overlook of downtown Raleigh and then walking down the street, which is right near that bridge, and then just this kind of cool garage background where we took some photos. So this whole shoot happened in like under an hour. He literally came over, we just drove downtown, hit the the two spots really. Um, you only had to park the car twice and nailed all these clips out. The inspiration for the edit actually came from uh, a guy named Justin Escalona, which I'm sure probably a lot of people tuning into this have seen his stuff before, but um, he does some really cool just raw raw videos that I really like. They're simple, there's not a lot of editing in them, if any editing, and a lot of the time he, um, he opens up with a voiceover, which was the inspiration for me to do the voiceover on this one. And um, I was just trying to think about like a way to bring forward the emotion because it was kind of a really cool thing for me just from like a development standpoint to get this opportunity. So I wanted to try to have a little bit of like an emotional feel to the video to kick it off. And that's why we opened up with a voiceover, which I um, recorded just right here. I got the Audio Technica mic into a focus, right? I just plugged that right in here and did the voiceover right, right on the spot as I was editing it. And then the song is super cool for me too because it's actually made by Snyder, who you guys um, saw in the Georgia Tech recap. It's a beat that he made with an artist that he does a bunch of work with, 51B. And this was actually the first time the track was ever put out into the public. Um, it's called Till Nothing's Left and just has kind of a really cool, at least for this type of video, that mentality of just like hustling, grinding, till nothing's left. Um, the whole idea of like grinding and progressing was super cool because that's definitely the vibe of the video that I wanted it to have and just kind of give it that give it that raw that raw feel to it. So it opens up with um, the two logos, Cuts logo and my logo, and then it has my audio or my audio snip like my Sonic branding tag here, which is a, a liquid drop, which is an effect I found in GarageBand. I thought was super cool. So it opens up with that. How many videos I'd ever made? and has the voiceover going under the beginning and I just did a, a quick little comp of the clips and then um, the photos I edited in Lightroom and then I pulled them into um, Final Cut to, to layer them on here so it opens up with showcasing a few of those different uh, photos and then it drops right into kind of this this clip um, of me just acting like I'm getting ready to take a photo and the name of the campaign, which is the Made the Cut campaign. So I threw the hashtag, hashtag on that to kick it off. And then really the edit just turned into kind of stacking clips in a way that I thought, you know, kind of just embraced the vibe I was going for. And walking, you know, fixing the, the cuffs on the pants, um, looking up at, the, at this big globe. It's kind of a cool scene that we did the shots at. Um, I incorporated a little audio into some of this stuff just to give it another vibe, um, you know, but overall, it doesn't have that super edited. I'm not putting a bunch of effects on the clips. I think I just use like one LUT on the whole thing just to give it more of a raw, you can almost, not film, but to take away some of the colors. And I thought it had a really cool vibe just for the song and how it all came together. Um, the clip walking and then like for different things where I wanted to accent stuff, I would stack it. So basically what I did to do this little effect right here was just stack on a cropped zoomed version of the background just to try to show the X because the X is the logo that cuts puts on all their shirts and then just go back out of that right into the finishing of the clip. <clears throat> 
All this stuff was shot handheld on a Canon. Um, I think we used a Canon 6D Mark II with a uh, 24 f 1.4 24mm lens on it. Um, and that was it. And then um, one of the things that Linus does I think is super cool is just like when we're shooting photos and stuff, he'll like do camera motion with the photos so then you could like stack those photos together to give you know the feeling of motion in the video so i use that to do the zoom in on the x right here and it's in focus but it, it comes out of focus into focus and then hits that x and kind of what happens is as that clip was moving i just matched up that motion with me walking and it kind of came into this cool little just like flow of going in and in in and then boom right there to just walking down the street showed some of the photos from the location so I, what i was trying to kind of do at some points in the video was just show the photos that came out of the place you're seeing in the video and that's what you're getting in this section right here i just showed some of the photos that have some cool light rays coming through and then back to kind of the, the final scene here being in front of these white garage doors which just kind of had a really cool contrast with the color of the shirt and just kind of a good vibe and Cuts his vibe as a brand is definitely kind of like that muted colors or not not so vibrant, but having like the black um, concrete or whatever it is coming up to the garage doors definitely fit the vibe right there for the colorways of the brand. And then having me come off of that was super cool. So we just shot a quick little clip of me just getting ready or acting like I'm getting ready to take a photo. We got another one of those punch ins with the with the where I basically just zoomed in the clip and then you see on the top and the bottom of it. I just cropped it up just to just to really zoom in on um, like the shirt to give a little more focus and on the detail there, and then um, the movement watch as well that I was wearing comes back out to just like the full scene, like I'm getting ready, and then I kind of did one pose, but then I I turn and the turn was kind of weird. So what I did so you don't really watch the turn is I just layered those photos on like I had done before, and um, just threw in. A few of the shots from that same spot and then it comes back to the clip right where I'm kind of like on the other side getting ready to take the photo and then just smile head nod and then back just into the Jeb shoots logo and that was it so all in all you know it's right over um, I guess it's like almost a minute 20 and then I had a widescreen version that I did for YouTube I did a portrait version that I dropped on my um, Instagram feed and then I also uploaded that portrait version Well, I uploaded the portrait version to IGTV shared it to my feed and shared the YouTube across my Facebook page and all that just to drive traffic to the YouTube video and Overall, I'm super stoked about it. I think the brand cloud came out awesome cuts said that they liked the video Definitely like didn't have to do a video, you know But I think as like a videographer or creator when you get an opportunity go go above and beyond the call of duty just to try to make yourself different and um We'll see what else comes from this collab. I'm super stoked about it. It's one of my favorite brands and it's the first collab I've ever done. So it was definitely a big moment for me, something I'm super stoked about. The edit's definitely um, emotional for me from a standpoint of just a development standpoint, the music used because it's two of my best friends and then all together just let me work with some cool people on a project that means a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna give you the full look now and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Inside the Cut. Peace. If you asked me how many videos I'd ever made, I'd have no idea how many to tell you. And if you asked me how many people have you worked with, I'd have no idea how many to tell you. But I know that I've loved every second of it along the way, and if it meant anything to me when Cuts reached out, it was a confirmation of all the time spent so far. This is a Jeb Shoots original, and that's how I made the cut. I need a Mars, I need to protect I got no cape, this is on my chest Can sit on the porch, can sit at a desk So I gotta grind till nothing is left You see my what streams, they call on my phone Because the same, these niggas are close I hop on my beam, I'm on my I'm on I'm taking a long way home I need a Mars, I need to protect 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 Ain't got no cape, this is on my chest Consider the trap, consider the death So I gotta grind till nothing is left I need a Mars, I need to protect These bitches on balls, like who in the next Ain't taking no calls, and checking out texts